Hi, this is Certified Trainer Rishabh Rajan, and I'm going to show you how to create a sound from scratch in the all-new Wavetable from Ableton Live 10. I'm actually going to recreate a preset sound. This one's called Alien Caesarean. Let's have a quick listen to it. I'll go ahead and arm the track, and now we can have a listen to this. All right, so it's a pretty complex sound, but we'll try to recreate it as close as possible. So I'm gonna load in Wavetable onto another empty track here in live. So the default sound is this pure sine wave. Let's maximize this so we can make use of the screen real estate. All right, now for oscillator one's Wavetable, I'm gonna select the formant category and choose the harsh vowel Wavetable. I'm going to set the position to 73. It sounds a bit harsh, so let's detune this down to an octave below, so a negative 12 semitones here. All right, moving on to oscillator 2, let's turn it on. We'll keep this at basics and switch the wavetable to harmonic series. I'll set the position to approximately 37. If we were to hear just oscillator 2, it would sound like this. All right, so that's it for the wavetables. Let's now move on to the filter. We leave it at this 12 dB per octave clean mode. I'll set the frequency to somewhere around 3.3 or 3.5. and I'll crank up the resonance all the way up to 74. So when the filter frequency dial is swept, we will hear that resonance. Next, let's move on to the envelopes. Starting with the amp envelope, I'll set the attack to a relatively high value, approximately 5.8 seconds. I want to be curved, so I'll increase that slope there. Back in the time, let's increase the decay also to about 3.2 seconds. I'll bring the sustain down to a negative 18 dB and release down a bit as well, around the 200 milliseconds mark. All right, so that's good. Next, we're gonna use envelope two to modulate a bunch of different parameters. So let's first set it up. I'm gonna give this a long attack as well, approximately 2.7 seconds. DK a bit short at about 600 milliseconds or so. I'll up the sustain a bit to about 68%. All right, so this is the shape we're gonna to use to modulate a few different parameters on the synth. The first thing I want to modulate is oscillator one's pitch. We don't see it in this matrix here, but if I just click on this semitone parameter, now we see it. So now I can just click and drag here and set the modulation amount. I'll set it to about eight or nine. You can hear that now. I want the filter frequency to also be modulated. So just click on the filter frequency. Now we see it in the matrix. I'll click and drag and increase this to about 80. So now the filter frequency is being modulated by envelope two. Okay, let's also use envelope three. Let's shape it first. I'll set the attack to about four seconds. I think 4.2 should be fine. DK, I want to be really short. So about six milliseconds. Sustain down just a wee bit to 46% and release all the way down to the lowest. I also want to curve this attack so I can just click and drag here and curve it. But we can also adjust the slope over here. 
All right, so let's use this to modulate some other parameters in the mod matrix. First thing I want to do is the oscillator 2 gain. So I'll just click here, and now it appears in the matrix. And now under envelope 3, I'll click and drag here to 100%. So now envelope 3 is modulating the level of oscillator 2. And you can hear that there. All right, what else? In this mod matrix, there's a global section where you have time percent and amount percent. We can actually increase this amount to twice as much at 200%. So now all the modulators are much faster. Let's slow the time down. Let's set the time to a negative value. So all the envelopes and LFOs are going to be a bit quicker. Now let's modulate this time parameter. You can see time over here in the matrix. I click and drag under envelope 3 and set that to about 44. So now even the time is being modulated in real time. We can even modulate this amount. So now we see global mod here. I'll crank that up to 100%. So now as envelope 3 is doing its thing, the global amount is being modulated. It's going to get a lot more interesting once we bring in the LFOs. So LFO 1, I want to set to a triangle. I'll shape it to negative 100, so it's like a sawtooth. I'll set the rate to at about 9 hertz. And let's offset it a bit. Well, okay, let's go for almost 360, so about 256 here. All right, so let's use this LFO to modulate some parameters. How about oscillator 1's position? Under LFO 1, I'll increase that to about 41. You can hear and see the modulation. So now we're getting to that, that preset we were going for. How about oscillator 2's position? Let's set that to about 52. So now you can see and hear both the modulations. Maybe a little bit of that global mod as well. Just a little bit, 1.6. Let's bring in LFO2 as well. We leave it at a sign, but set the shape to 100% so it kind of looks like a rounded rectangle or rounded square. Let's maximize the rate. It goes all the way up to 30 hertz. So now let's use this to modulate some parameters. How about oscillator 1's position? Let's use a negative value. So LFO 1 and LFO 2 are kind of fighting to modulate oscillator 1's position. That creates a pretty interesting effect. How about oscillator 2's pitch as well? We haven't modulated that yet, so I'll just click on the semi parameter here, and now it appears in the matrix. So now I'll click and drag under LFO2. I'll set that to about 15.8%. Let's also modulate oscillator 2's wavetable position with this LFO2. I'll increase the amount to 45. We get a lot of interesting effects when multiple modulators are modulating the same parameter. So that sounds pretty close to that alien cesarean preset that we were trying to replicate. Let's finalize the sound with some unison. I'll set the unison to position spread. Let's crank up the voices to 8. And I'll set the amount to 70%. Cool, so we created that sound completely from scratch using Live10's all new Wavetable synth. I hope you like this. Stay tuned for more.